Thanks for watching this free video tutorial, which is a free sample from our course Comprehensive Introduction to Corona for 3ds Max. It is a massive 9 hour long course in which we explore all the aspects of Corona for 3ds Max thoroughly. Make sure to visit our website mographplus.com and check the entire course out. And finally some metal shaders. I'm gonna create a new Corona material and assign it to the geometry. Um, start the render obviously. Start with something like uh, maybe chrome or... Uh, for metals, you don't have any diffuse or it's very, very dark. So set it to something like zero. Set the reflection level to one and Fresnel IOR to 999. In the frame buffer, set the highlight compression to about two. Um, we can probably just decrease the reflection glass into something like 0 0.8. And this is your basic metal shader. And obviously, if you want it to be shinier, simply uh, set the reflection glassiness value to something closer to one. Now, if we want to add some smudges, scratches, fingerprints, and stuff like that, we can connect a map to the reflection glassiness. Uh, load this map called BW1. Set the tiling to 0.25 and 0.25 and connect it to the reflection glassiness. Now we get this very rough metal surface. Now I'm gonna increase the dark values to around 0.7. Now those dark pixels get brighter and we're gonna have a less rough surface. And I wanna decrease the bright values to around uh, something like uh, point 0.925 so the brighter pixels will become a tad darker and therefore the shinier parts of the shader will be a bit rougher. Let's increase the highlight compression to about 3. I think it's a very shiny reflective metal surface so you get those very very bright highlights. Connect the reflection glassiness map to the bump input as well. And set the bump amount to a very, very low value like 0 0.02 or 0 0.01. And that's our basic metal shader. Now, if I wanted to make a gold material out of this, I just need to adjust the reflection color. So duplicate the shader and assign it. And now set the reflection color to a fairly desaturated yellowish color with the RGB values of 255, 198, and 76. And here is our gold shader. For something like copper, um, you know, duplicate the shader and assign it again. And this time, uh, change the reflection color to a desaturated orange with the RGB values of something like 255, 111, and 76. And here is our um, kind of copper shader. Obviously, you can adjust the color and make it less or more saturated, or uh, you know, adjust the hue a tad to get closer to what you're exactly looking at. But this is the gist of what you need to do. Let me now show you the higher resolution renders of these metal shaders as well. So here is the chrome, the gold, and the copper. Really nice and realistic. I think it's enough for this lesson and uh, for the corona material in general. See you in the next lesson to learn about another Corona material. See you there. Thanks for watching this free video tutorial, which is a free sample from our course Comprehensive Introduction to Corona for 3ds Max. It is a massive 9 hour long course in which we explore all the aspects of Corona for 3ds Max thoroughly. Make sure to visit our website mographplus.com and check the entire course out.